my marvelous muses. How are we doing, guys? So tonight we're gonna do mold I haven't done in quite a while. Uh, we're gonna do the bee mold. This is a honeycomb mold. I got it turned wrong side out because I'm gonna paint it in some mica powder. And uh, then I've got some bees here that we're gonna put on the outside of it, and we're gonna embellish the whole thing when we're all done. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty cool. Now, I don't know that I really needed to do this because I'm going to pretty much cover the whole thing with mica powder. And then I'm going to come in after the fact and embellish it with some little gems. Some of the crystals. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do the outside in crystals. So, I won't make y'all hang out for all of that. I'll show you a few of them and then I'll put you on pause. And But that'll be when we come back for demold. So, I'm wondering, yeah, I'm going to do it this way because I want to cover as much of it as possible. I know when I flip it back, I may have to touch some of it up. But hopefully if the whole thing is painted this way, then we'll be all right. And the color that I'm going to use instead of just a traditional is, uh, this is Baltic Day Chameleon Mica Powder. And it is red, orange, slash yellow, slash yellow green. So, it's a shift chameleon powder. Off of here. Let's actually, we're going to use this. Okay. I guess I've never opened it. I thought I'd use this one. Maybe I hadn't. All right. <laughs> Brush it over back over the top of the container that way some of it falls back in. I should have put a piece of paper underneath it, then I could have just dumped it back in. But we're going to get over it as much as we can here. It's a pretty color. I don't know if you can see the shift in this. Right. Sorry, guys. I got quiet. I was zoning out here. <laughs> I guess I could have just fast-forwarded you, huh? All right. I'm not going to make you guys sit here while I'm quietly brushing mica powder on here. I'll bring you back when we're done and we're ready to pour it. All right. We are back. So I got everything dusted here. I did wipe out a little bit of the inside of the bee. And I'm actually, instead of pouring this in a dark color, I'm going to pour this in white. 
Um, I don't want it to be super, super dark. Uh, because I'm going to put these bees on it, and I'm going to put some other stuff on there, like acorns, stuff like that. So I don't want it to be super, super dark. Um, and I'm pretty sure if I pour this white in here, it's going to show up a, like a pale gold. And I kind of want to see how it looks and what it shifts to, like maybe a pale gold and green. So I got uh, 8 ounces of resin mixed up here. I am using the Let's Resin, uh, already white resin. I thought might as well use it. I already had it. It's already very good. It's very mixed. So, ah, I hate that. It runs down the side of the cup. All right. this over to the side here just a little bit Pour it kind of slow I want it to go into those little crevices there I wasn't trying to flood it in there like that took four ounces so looks like we might be making something else here what else do I want to make what do we want to make yeah. try and look here and see what I want to make have so many molds to choose from it's like what do I make now Okay, I guess we'll just pour a small tray here. Let's pour a small tray. Let's move that over there. Let's add some something to this. What about we add some glitter to it? How about that? Uh, ch -ch -ch. Yeah, we're gonna add some glitter to it because we know it'll sink. So we're gonna do onk. Aqua Chunky. There we go. <laughs> All right. 
this video may not come out till in the morning. It's been so hot out here today. I haven't been out here to do anything. And it is already late in the evening. So this probably will not get demolded until late tonight. Really late tonight. And it's been taking a while for them to get uploaded. So. Alright, that worked out really good. Got some ideas for this one too. Now that I did it this way, so. Alright, we'll be back when it's time for demold and see how these turned out. Hey guys, we're back. So we're ready to demold these. So, I have a favor to ask you guys. And I'm going to remind you all again before then. I tried out for, I'm trying out to win a part in a horror movie with Kane Hodder. If you don't know, he is Jason Voorhees on Friday the 13th series. And they're doing a thing that's called the... Faces of Fear, Face, Face of Fear, Face, I can't remember now, oh my gosh, but uh, I'm part of the competition, I got in the competition, the voting starts actually on my birthday, next Tuesday, and uh, it's based on how many votes you get on what level, you know, you got to get everybody to vote, of course, well, I got all my awesome subscribers, right, I'll get y'all to vote. I would love to be in a scary movie. I am a scary movie crazy nut, and I would love to do it. That would be awesome. All right. Oh, that turned out pretty. I like that color. Wow. For being white. Now, that was a Baltic, Baltic day. Still a little bit soft. Because I had it on the heat mat. Oh, that's pretty. It's got a little bit of a pink cast to it. You can kind of see a little bit of a pinkish rose cast to it. That's beautiful. Alright. Take out the lid. So I wiped off the stuff here because I want to color him in. I want to see here how we did on bubbles. Oh, I got one bubble right here. That's not bad. Normally, oh, one more over here. If I'm just going to say, normally this lid traps bubbles like really, really bad. But that's not bad at all. And I could just fill that in with a little bit of UV resin and that would be all right. It's on the bottom of the lid. So... What we're going to do on here is I want to leave the wings like they are. I don't want to really mess with them, and I don't want to mess with his legs too much. Glasses here. All right. We are going to kind of do be similar to this, but we're going to leave his wings here. It's kind of gold color. So his head's going to be black. Yeah, his head's black. Watching everybody's videos. I just watched Mary over at Resin Me Up. Learned how to do a mold that I've had for a long time. Very long time. So, I will probably be trying it here shortly because now I know how to do it. Kind of. 
I have a better idea now, anyway. Alright. Okay, then we have yellow, and then black here in the center. I love finding new music I've never heard. And, uh, everybody that watches my channel knows that I'm a Ren fan. Huge Ren fan. And he did a video with a, another artist, another independent artist named Webby. I've never heard of him before. Wow, it was a good video. And they were really good together. I So, yeah, it was very good. So I watched the video now. I've watched it twice just because I like to see them again. So I, if I miss something, which I did the first time, it's kind of cool. That's looking good, guys. That's going to be dark enough. Get my other. What's that on here? Might need that one. There we go. <laughs> and I kind of want to do the top a little more gold. Oh, do I have it? Where's my other gold? There we go. I see it. Okay. So, change my mind. I'm going to do these wings here. In gold. There we go. I like that much better. 
And it's going to tie in better with our little guys right here. Ah, I stuck my pen in between. <laughs> stuck my glove in between the cap of the pen. Alright. Uh, where's the other one? I know I got two of them out. There it is. I was going to say, I know I have two of them out. Let's see, where do I want to put it? Maybe like that. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think that's going to work. All right. I'm going to pitch on pause. I'm going to attach these on here. Uh, I may do something to kind of bling these out a little bit. I don't know. But I'll be right back. Hey, we're back. All right. So, I went around the middle, just around the center here. And I put crystals that are like the ones that are on the bees here. And my bee's not completely dry. So he is slipping, sliding around. But, yeah, I put them just around the center. I thought if I did them all over, it might be too much. Uh, so I figured I'd just do them right here around the middle. And then our little bee's on the top. This one's attached pretty good. This guy here is not completely down. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna glue him a little bit better. Yeah, we're gonna put him on a little bit better. I don't think I did good enough. Okay. Usually this glue attaches pretty quick. It's what I use for my to put my uh what did, what did Marcy tell me? Drills. That's what they're called. These little things. These little things. That's what I used to put all these on. So, yeah. Let me know what you think, guys. The blue tray, we will do something with tomorrow night. Uh. But, yeah. So there's our, there's our little bumblebee box, our little bee box. And it is blinged out. So if you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, why not? Be my subscriber. <laughs> that was funny, right? Come on, guys. You gotta admit, that was kind of halfway funny anyway. Be my subscriber. All right. I hope everyone has a wonderful night. I hope your resin cure is beautiful. Your craft projects turn out amazing. Hope you're all happy, healthy, safe, and blessed. And I will see you guys tomorrow night. Bye.